Okay, guys, I'm the Delta Vader, and in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to use my ICT Power of Three trading indicator that got me funded over $900,000 in the last few months alone. Cool. So the Power of Three model by ICT is very simple. All we're looking for is the four hourly candle and then three phases within that four hourly candle. So the first phase is consolidation. Second phase is manipulation. And third phase is distribution. Great. So the first thing that we'll notice on the chart is the indicator paints the four hourly candle on the right hand side, but it also paints the four hourly candle as an overlay. So you see here, we have the middle rectangle, which represents the body of the candle. And we have the upper rectangle, which represents the top wick of the candle. And then we have the lower rectangle, which represents the lower wick of the four hourly candle. Okay, so now that we have the four hourly candle painted on the chart for us, now we're looking for our three phases within that candle. So to, in order for, to get the indicator to show us the three phases, we need to open the indicator settings and click the consolidation highs and lows and the consolidation zone settings. Great, so now we can see the indicator paints for us the consolidation zone and the distribution zone. So what we're looking for is for the consolidation zones, support level or resistance level to be breached. So as we can see here, we do get a nice manipulation where we get the consolidation support breached and we get the manipulation moving down and then we move into our distribution zone. Great, so now that we have that painted on the chart, how do we actually trade this model? Let's jump in and take a look. Cool, so as we can see here, we have price consolidating in our consolidation zone. We have a support line painted and a resistance line. So all we're waiting for is for price to mitigate either the, the support line or the resistance line. Great, so we do have the mitigation of the support line, which will now indicate we're in our manipulation phase. Great, so now that we've entered our manipulation phase, we're looking for our entry. And our entry comes in the form of a market structure shift followed by a fair value gap. There's a reversal back into the consolidation area of the candle. Great, so in order to get the indicator to paint our entries on the chart for us, we need to go over to the indicator settings and enable the market structure as well as the fair value gaps. Great, so now we can see the indicator is painting the market structure and the fair value gaps for us on the, on the chart. So now all we need to do is wait for our market structure shift in the opposite direction with a fair value gap underneath. Perfect. So as you can see here, if we get our market structure shift with a nice big fair value gap underneath, so I would enter this position at a long and we can place our stop loss at the nearest swing low. And then we need to target our nearest local liquidity or our nearest higher time frame fair value gap. So what we can do is go into the indicator settings and now enable our higher time frame fair value gaps and our local liquidity levels. Great, so now we can see the indicator has painted our local liquidity levels and our higher time frame fair value gap. So we have a 15 minute for, uh, bearish fair value gap here, as well as here. And then we have our nearest local liquidity level on this high here. So we'll use that as our target just in between the fair value gaps. And let's see how this trade plays out. Perfect. So we hit the target, no problem. And that is um, our distribution phase of the candle. You can also use other entries like an inverse fair value gap. So you can see here we get a bearish fair value gap and then we invert it with this candle here. So we could have taken the long and gotten, you know, a slightly better entry. Uh, it's completely up to you how you find your entries. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use the indicator. Um, fully automates the power of three strategy for you. We've got the four hourly candle painted on the chart. And we're just looking for our three phases. So our consolidation zone marked on the chart. We wait for the breach of the support or resistance with our manipulation. Once we get manipulation, we're looking for our entry in the form of an inverse fair value gap or a market structure shift. Once we get that, we enter the position, stops at the swing low or high, and then we target our local liquidity in the consolidation zone. Pretty simple stuff, um, all automatically painted on the chart for you. Um, if you haven't already, go to the, the, the deltabeta.com and get your free trial. It's a three-day free trial, so you can test out the indicator and make sure it's for you. Otherwise, we do have a free Discord community. Uh, the link you can find at the deltabeta.com. Loads of free educational stuff. Um, I post free uh, setups every day, and I trade live in there every day. I'd um, love to see you there. Peace.